Hello everyone, this is Bert Meister back in the S Trials for Advanced Wars. So let's cut the intro short and move on to the next mission. So before I begin doing my commentary for Twin Alley, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who enjoys my vids, gives me their feedback on how they like my videos. This is basically what I like to say. Thank you everybody for supporting my videos and hopefully in the future my videos are going to be more entertaining for everybody who truly enjoys my vids. This truly makes me happy that there are a lot of people out there who find my videos quite interesting. So once again, thank you everybody. So as much as this is making me very happy, the war room I have to do isn't going to be as pleasant as the other war rooms have been. So let's go ahead and move on to the actual commentary. Since I've completed 12 world rooms out of the possible of 20 with just 8 more to go, I can basically say I'm almost 3 fourths away from completing the game. Excellent! So let's go ahead and end Combe's Reign of Terror. Yes, it's Twin Alley. This war room by far isn't as bad as the Ridge Island one, but this war room is truly going to be a pain in the tail. Uh, yeah, Kambe, I have to admit, you truly suck in this game, but this war room, you're going to give me a headache. A strange thing also I'd like to note is how come Yellow Comet only appears twice, but the other two armies, Green Earth and Blue Moon, appear three times. Oh well, whatever, I guess Yellow Comet is just not as famous, so let's go ahead and use one of the most pathetic seals in this game. Yes, if you thought it was Kambe, nope, it's Kambe's daughter. Sonja. Yeah, we're gonna be having daughter versus father. Excellent. So right from the start, you're not dealt with so much funds. Which Kambe, yeah, he has more funds. Oi, this is what I hate about this war room. But before I actually start talking about this um stage, let's talk about the mission objective to get the perfect S in this war room. To pass this war room, you need to pass it in 20 days. To destroy Kanbei's units in one turn, you need to destroy only two. It can be any type of units you want. And if you can save yourself the trouble, don't lose more than one unit. Otherwise, your technique score goes down. If you lose just two, you will still get an S, but it's gonna be a 997, I think. So right from the start, you're asking yourself, hmm, what do you build on day one? Here's the simple answer. Don't build anything. Since you're only limited with just 3,000 funds, that just makes you truly not dealt to build anything. So right on day 2, you want to build the infantry and the APC. Now, this war room is going to be quite tricky and believe me, this is speaking by experience. As much as this war room relies on luck, I'm only hoping that it does, which Sonja does not have that luck power. Yeah, spice to say, that's the problem with Sonya, or Sonja, is that she ultimately has that bad karma of being unlucky. Also note, the one thing that's going to irritate me in this war room since it was day 2, is those two units Kabe built right on the right. The tank and the AP, um, the artillery. Yeah, that tank right there has a bad tendency to fuck it up right from the start. What you want this tank to do is to go all the way over here. And if it does, you can save yourself the trouble that you won't have to worry about this. If the artillery does the same thing too, yeah, that's going to give you a lot of a breather. So, right when you build this infantry, load the infantry in the APC and make it go as far as you can. Then, build two infantry so you can catch the cities to build up more funds. Alright, let's see this tank fuck it up right here. Uh, yes, thank you very much, Kambe. You just messed it up right here. <sighs> yep, I really hate this. Also note, you really don't have to kind of restart your game when this happens. There's only going to be one problem since you'll lose the infantry in this game. Sad to say that you really don't have to worry in this war room because, as I said it before, Kambe does suck. Oh god. Oh, yeah. This is gonna get very tedious. Alright, 
resistance. I want this tank to come right up here and attack my infantry. Yeah, I'm gonna need it to do that right here. As much as I know, I'm gonna lose a unit. That'll have to say I really don't want to lose any units, but I'm gonna lose that um, APC right there. Ouch. Oh, leave my units alone, you freaking bastard. Ugh. Where's this tank going? Alright, you can kind of leave my units alone, you little shit wad. Yeah, since you kind of already did the ultimate gimmick of pissing me off from beyond beliefs. Yeah, I can just say I hate you, Kambe. Now you just made it worse. Oh, you little shithead. What do you want to do? You want to just kind of end my um, torture or something? Okay, since we already know, we can kind of take a side of relief that... Some of these units are actually going to cooperate. Thank gods. Okay. Oh, what? Yeah, see? Case in point right there. As you saw the thing say 12%, Sonja has that ultimate gimmick of not doing any damage. Uh, that... Oh, you got to be kidding me, girl. Come on. Oh, you really suck that badly. Ay. Yeah, this is what I mean about Sonja. She sucks badly. Oh god, oh god, oh this isn't gonna be pretty, oh my god, uh oh, get that unit out of there. Okay, let's go ahead and just leave this here, and put that there, up there, oh boy, yeah, this can get kind of nerve-wracking to have to deal with but I'm pretty sure we can kind of take a little bit of a breather all right let's do this yes okay come on catch that little thing as quick as you can all right let's do this ouch ouch Oh, you little shithead. Leave my units alone. Stop pissing me off from Beyond Beliefs. Yeah, be a good little seal and, um, die. Okay, since we pretty much have everything that we need, all I gotta worry about is one thing. Okay, let's get this guy out of here. And attack this. Come on, Sonja. You're not supposed to be this pathetic. Do some damage. Thank you very much. Now please end this tank. Thank you! Damn, girl, I swear. I know you suck, but... Stop trying to make me look bad. I know you're trying to embarrass your father, but come on. Make some damage and kill your own father. Not saying to kill him straight off the back. No, 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 no. Okay, where did he build the other unit? Okay, joy. Yes, we're gonna do this. All right. All you gotta do now is one thing. Run. Seriously, just run. Don't do anything in your power to take on Kambe's unit. And since we just lost only the APC, we can kind of take joy. So, yeah. Start building as many units to prevent your technique score from going down. Alright, let's go ahead and end this turn. Okay, he's building more of those ground units. Oh, God. All right, where did he build the other unit? Oh, goody. See, like I said, he leaves his HQ wide open. Thank you, you stupid emperor. You just made your daughter's day by cooperating. Excellent. Let's go ahead and build more units. Ouch. No, I wasn't doing that. And we passed it in 11 days. Excellent. So let's go ahead and end this nightmare of a war room. And hopefully, dear gods, it is a perfect S. Cross fingers. Yes! We did it! A perfect S. Nice going, girl. You rock. Although I wish you could do more damage. You're pathetic. I mean, you have bad luck, but come on. Build that luck up a bit. Anyways, we're done with Twin Alley. As I said before, that war room is truly irritating. 
and I'm glad to be done with it, don't get me wrong. Getting the perfect S is a lot trickier than I thought. So Kambi, since your reign of terror is done, let's get into the ranked analysis to give you your farewell gift until you have to challenge me in the double matchup. Here is your score. Well, I'm glad you improved yourself in Dual Falls because now you deserve the C rank. Twin Alley is quite tricky. You need to get very lucky in this war room to have Kambe cooperate, which, as you saw, he didn't cooperate. Those two units he built on day two are truly the units that piss you off from beyond beliefs. Even with that other tank he built on day three, having to attack my infantry, that's just bad. I swear, Kambe. I. And I had to use Sonya for this war room? Ugh. Why? Why did I have to use the Princess of Evil? She has bad luck written all over her. But don't get me wrong, I'm glad to be done with this war room. Ugh. Yeah, that's why I gave it the C. Even the most trickiest thing about this war room is, all you really gotta do is catch the HQ and just destroy one unit. It's not gonna be a perfect S, but... You'll get the S rank, and that's just sad how easy this war room is to get the S. So, I can tell you guys, this war room, I don't know why it's easy to get the S, but the perfect S is a lot trickier and a lot more hard to do. Don't get me wrong, I'm actually glad to get the perfect S, but we're done with Twin Alley, and we can move on. So, since we're actually out of this map, our next war room will be Dara's range. Yes, it's Eagle's Revenge and it's final time to challenge the Burtmeister. So thank you once again everybody for watching my video. I hope you guys were entertained and I shall see you guys in the next War Room. Until then, peace out and as always, take care. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Burtmeister. I thought I'd go ahead and show off a little bit of a proof of concept that I did correct myself on this part. To get this whole thing to fall into place where you have to destroy this um, one unit, yeah, sad to say you have to use gun units such as your infantry or your um, recon units to kind of get that thing to be a perfect guess. Suffice to say, that's all you really need to do. And voila, there is your S rank. See what I mean? Simple, easy, but a little tricky. So as much as you can use any other seal, so there's my little proof of concept that all you really got to do is destroy one unit, you get your S. But it is a little tricky that you just got to use gun units, and that, like I said, is just so tits. I mean, whatever, that's an S rank, and I passed it faster. Lovely. But then again, this is going to be Burtmeister finally say thank you guys for watching my vids. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys in Dara's Rage, and peace out.